We're playing through the Leg Day Randomizer with a little bit of ranting here and there about our personal lives because, you know, it's fun. And hey, if you're watching on Dragon Blitz Daily, first of all, you are appreciated. Thank you for spending some time with me this morning, evening, afternoon, however you're feeling. Oh, God, I can't play the video game right now. What? How did that whip miss the candle? Dude. All right. Awesome. Um... If my voice sounds a little weird, I think I'm getting a little sick, so I apologize. But you know what else is sick? Subscribing to the YouTube channel. That would be sick of you if you were to do that. Uh, and leaving a comment for the algorithm. Everybody who's leaving comments for the algorithm, you are appreciated. It is helping out the videos a ton lately, which is really, really nice. And I appreciate you all being so supportive. Leg Day Industrial Complex. <laughs> Dude, Leg Day is fun. Look, I'm just saying... This community of of uh, randomizer creators, ROM hacking new randomizers together, it's fun. I'll say it. Playing Symphony of the Night in new silly ways is fun, and I'm very happy to be a part of that. Leg Day is fun, and I think there could be a lot optimized with Leg Day randomizers, and I think that's cool. Anything where you can play a uh, uh, a game and think to yourself, dude, I can do this, but even better. That's my favorite feeling in the whole world. Thinking to myself, dude, there's movement tech that's in this game. Like, you can just fly! You can just fly! And you can combine, like, these crazy back... It's so fun. Look at this! It's awesome! Just go! Just go fast! Plus, you get to keep the momentum. Like, so much of the stuff that Leg Day has to offer is so cool. Is it worth getting a Raspberry Pi as an emulator? I've never used a Raspberry Pi, so I'm probably not the best person to, to ask. But, um, I've seen people use them at, like, GDQs and stuff if they want to bring, like, a portable emulator box, basically, to, like, an event or something like that. So, like, I'm sure they're useful for all sorts of different stuff. Uh, I'll grab this just in case. Grab that. Nothing here. Zircon D's. Nuts. Alright. Dude, backdashing through the doors as well? Heck yeah. It has a cooked CPU. It overheated playing PlayStation games? Well, I mean, Symphony of the Night's just too hot of a video game, obviously. I'm just going to assume you're playing Symphony of the Night. If not, I'm going to look like an idiot. Nice. Just need a cheap emulator option. It's probably perfect for that, actually. But, again, I'm not, I'm not a knower. I'm not an emulator expert. I'd be PC emulating, PC gaming since forever at this point. Huge. Huge gaming. Uh-oh. Drop them. Drop them right now. There we go. I'm not a big fan of emulating on phones for a couple of reasons. Personally, one, uh, I feel like most phones, like phone emulators are not very well optimized and I feel like they eat a shit ton of battery. Um, I feel like they run like shit for anything that isn't just like a Super Nintendo game, basically. <clears throat> and you still have the issue of your phone getting like way too hot as well. And then also like touch screens, touch screen controls really sucks unless you're using like a Bluetooth controller, but then you have to deal with the fact that like Bluetooth has input lag and also like your screen display might also have input lag. I don't know. Yeah, phone emulation is uh, not my go-to. I understand why you would do it. I mean, back in the day, I loved playing Pokemon on my phone with a little GBA emulator. Uh, that's Echo. I don't need that. But I think trying to emulate anything other than like RPGs 
Like, Game Boy Advanced RPGs is probably a bad idea. Dude, speaking of Soten Mobile, apparently, I just found this out because somebody submitted a run using a, like, save transfer type glitch in the mobile version of Soten. It exists, and I'm like, what? I've never seen this before. I was looking at the uh, uh, submissions for, it was for Richter any percent on Soten Mobile, and they beat the game by doing a some sort of save corruption thing to kill Richter. And I'm like, what? Yo, what up, MT? So they got the end game credits by killing Richter, but it was like the bad ending. And I'm like, uh, should this be allowed in the, like, is this against any of the leaderboard rules? Cause there, this is the only person that submitted a run using this glitch for uh, Richter any percent essentially. And I'm like, uh, this is above my pay grade. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to accept this run and then be like, oops, sorry, actually. New backdash tech? Yeah, I'm doing frame uh, perfect uh, dashes now. So it just is, you know. If you, This is what it looks like when you do frame perfect dashes. Clearly. You just have to be really good at the game. Like, not even Mr. Task could move like this, so. Uh, speaking of retro, retro, like, little emulator, uh, things that you could also get is, like, I know there's those, like, retro handheld emulators that are, like, relatively cheap, all things considered. And those are essentially just Raspberry Pis, but, like, with a portable console to go with them. That might be an option. They're pretty popular, too. Like, people are just, like, happy to have a little emulator box they can... Uh, use portably. Dude, leg day is so cool! Why couldn't it have been a leg day tournament? <laughs> Ooh, Jewel of Open. Very interesting find this early. Uh, I forget the complexity for leg day, so I'm just going to do the full lap. Yeah, those little retro pocket type uh, emulators are interesting to say the least. And they are getting quite popular. I don't think I would ever use one, but... Leg Day Tournament would have been too fire. Actually, yeah. The competitors wouldn't know what to do with themselves after the tournament is over. They're like, what do we do now? Play more leg day? Oh, unironically, actually, I should I should hack my 3DS. All memes aside, that's something I probably should do before I go on this trip. Because I'm going to be leaving the, the US for like a week. And I'm not going to have internet. Ow. Can you die? Dude, why is Tetris Spirit not working? Ow. <clears throat> you guys saw nothing? I don't want to reset! Come on, let me have this! I'm sick! I'm sick, I'm dying, uh, I'm a little baby, it's my birthday, I'm a little birthday boy. <coughs> please, <coughs> please be nice to me. <coughs> I'm dying of the consumption, sir, please. C can you spare a, a, a subscribe? A Twitch Prime, perhaps? <laughs> he cut his hair and lost all of his powers. No, I'm not beating the allegations. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. After he after he cut his hair, he was just different, man. Yeah, I, I don't really watch this guy after he cut his hair, dude. He's just, like, not the same, bro. Varda! All right, we're not dying anymore, okay? All right. 
I had armor too. I'm fucking stupid. Guys, please, come on. Let me cheat. Let me do a little cheating as a treat. This is supposed to be my warm up run. Let me do, let me warm up. Come on. DB has been replaced by a plant. Uh, I'm a sentient plant. Abusing time travel powers that I got from the E3 demo. Exactly. Once I learned how to break the space-time continuum to speedrun uh, the E3 demo back in 1997, I've been using my time travel powers for, for good, mostly. Nothing here. Vorpal, that's nice. I'll take that. Damn it. There we go. Whoa, stop that. <laughs> there we go. No, guys, I'm the real Dragon Blitz Daily. I swear. See, uh, I'll prove it to you. It's me, Dragon Blitz Daily. Um, I know I look different, <clears throat> and I maybe sound a little bit different. But but would um would a fake Dragon Blitz Daily um do this? Huh? What, what's something only the real Dragon Blitz Daily would do? And I'll do that. To prove it. Huh? I could scam you guys on a Karma Coin. Hold on. Wait a minute. Would the real... Would a fake Dragon Blitz Daily start a prediction for a coin flip? Remember, it's been heads three times in a row. Keep that in mind. Tell the joke. You know which one. Uh, Why couldn't... The um, why did, why did, why did, why did the the bicycle feel sleepy? Fuck. Um, why? Why did the unicycle? Fuck. No. Um, no. I got this. I got this. Wait. 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 Why? Holy glass is already layer zero, essentially. Okay. I'm glad we went this way then. Why is a raven like a writing desk? Uh-oh. The puns are the puns are approaching. Help! Leg day minimum complexity is seven. I don't know how you got Joel and glasses on layer zero. Oh, I'm just goaded. I'm cheating, actually. Tails never fails. Theoretically. That's so funny that this doesn't stop me from just backdashing. What was that? I saw an item drop. Hello, cart. Sprite card? What is this, vanilla? I could do it. I could do it right now. I could do it. Huh? Wait a minute. Since we're cheating... 
Huh? Huh? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. Oh no! I messed up my shop glitch! Oh no! Anyways. I'm interested in this. I'm interested Ghost in this. card! Mana prisms. Okay, I could buy some mana prisms. Not that that super matters in this preset, but... Iron Shield's kind of nice to have. There's not much in here I'd want to buy anyways. So we'll definitely buy the Iron Shield. I could buy Heart Refreshes and just win. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, get a couple of these. Get a high potion. Not a gamer, but a glitcher and a cheater. You think so? You exposed yourself as a fake. The real DB would have cheated. No! Wait! Ah! Uh, and then I just fucking wait. <laughs> no! Please! Ah! Uh, and then I'm just gone forever. We caught you. You should have cheated there. It's like a weird momentum thing that I'm not quite understanding, but... We need new copy bosses in the Cheater series. If I find another one... Trust me, I will. I'm not, I'm not afraid to add more copy pastas to the... To the Cheater saga. Nothing here. Nothing here. Alrighty. Yeah, the gamer comment was an instant classic. Those just don't fall out of the sky. Exactly. It's a very special type of comment that comes from, like, a sincere individual who is genuinely mad in the YouTube comments. That, like, that's hard to come by. Genuinely. Yeah, let's do it like this. Right, I'm gonna stop being stupid. That sounds like a challenge, don't challenge me. Look, it's really hard to come up with like the perfect copy pasta. People who try too hard to make copy pastas, unfortunately, end up looking a little silly. But I mean, ultimately, if you're not afraid to look a little silly, you could always just try. No one's stopping you. Unless it's so bad that I'm like, boo, this guy stinks. Let's kill him. Let's murder him with hammers. Yeah, nobody likes forced copy pastas. So you got to be very delicate. Yeah, we don't want that synthetic stuff. We want organic. Natural ingredients, homegrown, FDA approved, all natural pasta. Wee. No one will beat the Navy SEAL Hunter Performs Kill Bullshit. Yeah, that one, that one's iconic, but I don't think it's the best, but I'd have to think about better ones. It's good. It's, it's, it's a historic classic for, for, for sure. The Navy SEALs one is a historic classic. As far as infamous copy pastas, I think the Vor Vaporeon is, one is also up there because everybody knows it, and they're all either a little too excited about it or very grossed out by it. So it brings strong opinions. All right, we got our first Vlad Relic. Nice, nice. Better ingredients, better cheating, Papa Blitz. Look, I don't, I don't want to be associated with that guy. You know, he has some very... 
let's say bad opinions that I don't want to be associated with. It's like Papa John's, but with less racism. Don't you mean zero racism? Uh, yeah. That's, that's what I said. All right. Gaming. All right, how long? Oh, I don't need that. Ooh, but this how? Oh. How long until we get one of these gosh darn randomizer Tribute. makers? Nice storm. Thank you for the tier one. Converting that prime to a tier one. We love to see it. Uh, how long until we get these gosh darn rom hack uh, rando people to make uh, Soten, but with dodge rolls? And then make all the bosses have big red health bars at the bottom? Because, like, having invincibility from this backdash is just making me think of Dark Souls. Make you lose levels on death? That actually... Hold on. Could we do something similar, but not... Because Soden, you just, like, don't die. Like, you can't die in this video game. It's impossible. Anyone who's ever died playing this video game... Uh, especially when you have access to, like, infinite jumps, like in a leg day randomizer, is absolutely terrible and bad at the video game and should feel uh, ashamed. Uh, it means they're not a real gamer. A glitcher and a cheater, yes, but not a real gamer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? Where did that sound effect come from? Is it the fairy? Hold on. <laughs> Why is this happening? Okay, it's gone now. All right, never mind. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, what up, presently? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Yo, lady, how's it going? Oh, it's... Oh! It's that sound effect. So in his 18 plus miners leave now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're playing the Soden After Dark uh, ROM hack. Um, all children are uh, required to to leave. Now nah, let's get out of here. I have Spike Breaker, so we can go check Spike Breaker. Let's do that. Every time you die, you lose all your... Well, okay. I'm trying to think as far as, like, creating a, a challenge run that makes sense. Because dying in Soten, memes aside, I did die earlier, but that's because I'm uh, warming up and I'm bad at the game. And also, the sun is in my eyes, and I am uh, i haven't warmed up yet. Uh, my tummy hurts. I'm a little sick. I have a, a sniffly nose. But realistically, dying is something that doesn't happen very often. Right? At least to me, it doesn't happen very often. Uh, my little brother was playing the game. Um, I wasn't looking at the screen, etc., etc. So... A Vlad Relic here. Interesting. Uh, forcing something on death doesn't seem appropriate unless we're able to force deaths to happen more often. by, like, just increasing the difficulty of enemies or something? I don't know. Just run the health drain scripts. That is a way to force some more deaths. That's true. But I'm thinking of a way to, like, essentially turn Soden into a shitty Souls-like. Where you lose stuff on death. 
instead of it just being like, go back to the last save. Items scatter like coins in Sonic when you get hit. Dude, that's funny. Another Ares. So... We did all of this... Just to figure out that the there's nothing in the caverns? And Mist Layer 1 was the first progression relic? What the fuck is this seed? Seriously, what the hell? There was a Vlad? Yeah, but it wasn't progression. There was Spike Breaker? Yes, but Spike Breaker isn't prog- Guys, I'm talking about progressing to get to Complexity 7 here. Apparently, this is supposed to be a 7 Complexity preset. We're on Layer 1 right now, and we've been playing for 25 minutes. There was a sexual moan sound effect in the caverns. Now that's progression, actually. It's very progressive. If you think about it. Women can do anything, including uh, glitching the sound effects to moan directly into my earbuds. It is women's month, after all. Yeah, let's just go to the second castle, I guess. Add characteristic requirements for all weapons. Well, to be fair, that already exists. Like, you need a strength requirement to effectively wield weapons in this game. It's just a mechanic that's really obtuse that nobody remembers or cares about. And weapons in this game are so strong that it hardly matters. It exists? Yes. <laughs> yes. So, if your strength is too low... Certain weapons will do significantly less damage. Um, maybe I could show an example of this. Where... I don't know what the strength requirement is for Vorpal, though. And my strength is 24 naturally, so it's really hard to show, actually. Um, but you could look it up. I think Talik and uh, Dinner Dog, actually. Exclamation mark Dinner Dog. He has a video explaining it at some point. I'm sh like 99% sure. Damn, this cape going very crazy. This is some 90s uh, hyper wave shit. I like playing the game with one hand. Ugh, there we go. If it's not a Dirt Dog video, it doesn't exist in Soden. True! Don't mind me as I play Flappy Bird at the top of the screen and freaking kill this guy. But yeah, it doesn't come up much. Um, one of the places it does come up is the Elemental Swords. Uh, if you start a randomizer with one of the uh, Elemental Swords, like uh, Ice Brand, uh, Fire Brand, Thunder Brand, I think they do like 20 something attack. They give you 20 something attack. But once you reach their strength requirements, they uh, are like plus 10 or something like that. They're like half as effective or something, or you get 50% more damage out of them essentially once you meet the strength requirement. It's something like that. It's one of those things where it's like technically it's a mechanic in the game, but like it doesn't end up mattering because you still end up using the same weapons regardless of your strength value because the weapons in this game are such high disparities between each other. The only time it matters is when you're trying to choose between like, I don't know, do I use the short sword or the gladius or something like that? And even Brilliant. then, not really. You steal men's souls. Yo, French name, thank you for the 18 months. Slaves. We're doing Castlevania on ice uh, after this. This is my warm up to just like goof around with you guys before doing some more serious stuff. Is this the guy who always comments on the Dragon Blitz daily videos? Yeah, I, I comment on that guy's videos. And you should too, right now. Leave a comment about um, your favorite ice cream flavor. How's the new video doing? It's doing all right, uh, exclamation mark new video. Or new vid, sorry, exclamation mark new vid. It's 
it's doing good. I think people are liking it. Um, more regular viewers are watching it, which is nice. More returning viewers are watching it, which means I might be out of the algorithm hell, potentially, that I was stuck in, where even, like, my normal viewers weren't getting recommended the videos. So that's a good thing. I think it helped that I put my face in the thumbnail so people who recognized me would click on it, which is something that I don't normally do. I usually try and leave my face out of thumbnails. Do I go back to First Castle and then fight All Rocks right now, actually? Oh. That's an interesting question. But yeah, I'm very happy with how the video turned out. Um, this one was edited by uh, someone else. It wasn't edited by me. This is the first video me and this editor have worked on together, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. It was a lot of work to get it into a, a, a good spot, but I'm hoping with future projects, the videos can come out even faster, where we might even see like a weekly video, maybe? Especially if I'm able to also still produce videos at a rate of like once every month or three weeks or something like that on my own. Yo, what up, Jester? Yeah, new hair. New hair. Pog champ. On the bright side, at least I can fight this guy with the transformation. So this is still higher complexity. Cheesecake in a room full of zombies. That sounds like a... Like a poem from, like, the early 1900s. And it's, like, talking about communism or something like that. And it was, like, a state-sponsored poem. Or an emo band, and there's no in between. No in between. That is an early 2000s emo band or state sponsored propaganda. Bro, he's always holding nothing. Always holding these nuts. God damn it, Aquadon. All right. They are the same. You're telling me freaking early 2000s emo bands are state sponsored propaganda? Now that's a conspiracy I'd be down to get behind. The government's making our kids emotional by listening to MCR. How dare these children have emotions? <laughs> the government really wanted us to close the goddamn door. Uh... Man, that's, that's, MT, you peaked. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, God. No. The invincibility with this backdash is a little finicky. I got to get better at spacing it. And I chime in with, haven't you people ever heard of? <laughs> the government's brainwashing the kids into dyeing their hair black, yeah. Look, it worked on me, what can I say? I showed that picture on stream the other day. If you're watching on Dragon Blood Sailing and you don't know what picture I'm talking about, it's a picture of me at age 15 with black emo hair. You gotta watch the live streams if you wanna get the behind the scenes scoop of my emo face from the mid to late 2000s. Push.tv slash Dragon Blitz. Come join. Spam Joel with the rest of them. Hair looks great. Come mine recently too. Thanks. I think Dracula would appreciate a written, a written letter with quill and pen more than a DM. Look, we're trying to slide into his DMs though. Dracula can handle it. Uh, there's got to be a better way to get through this room, right? Shield Rod! Can I use this? I already have Maul... Wait, I already have Maul Blanc. Why do I give a shit about Shield Rod? That's just a funny drop. Ow, I just got shot in the ass. I just took an arrow in the ass. Used to be an adventurer like you, etc., etc. All right, moving on. No! 
Wrong backdash. No! What hit me? Help! This guy's fucking cheating! Fire boomerang, finally! Wow, that's so helpful. I'm starting to feel like maybe being here in the second castle is, uh, bait? I feel like I'm being masterfully baited right now. But it's really hard to tell. Normally I'm the one just doing that to myself, you know? Don't you just hate it when you end up, like, you know, baiting yourself? But when someone else is doing it, it just feels weird, you know? Yo, what up, Matthias? How you doing? Die, die, get out of my way, die. Thank you. There's no way I die again, right, guys? <laughs> no, I'm not going to die. Oh! We're fine. I forgot that the backdash is invincible. I know that sounds stupid to say because that's, like, a huge part of this preset is that the fact that the backdash is invincible. Oh, thank you, fairy. Hold on. Wait a minute. That was really nice of you. It was really nice of you to waste my potion. I didn't need the help. I could have done it myself. You hear jump scare? It's not a jump scare. I warned people. Also, what's up, friend? How you doing? Maybe it's a little bit of a jump scare. Whoop. Oh, thank God. There we go. You survived yesterday. Congratulations. Let's go. Surviving any day, honestly, is worthy of congratulations. That looks fun. Leg day is fun, what can I say? Good randomizer. Good times. Hey, creature at the goods, who would have thought? I'm just gonna refill my health because you know I'm not I'm not like scared, but like it's like you know might as well you know like psh, not like I'm scared of dying like I've never died before or whatever. I'm still thinking about the idea of making like a Dark Souls hack for this game and what that would entail. Could you, like, give the player... Like, five potions or something? And refill those potions at every save room? But then remove the iframes from those potions? Is that a possibility? Like, how many Dark Souls references could we fit into one rando? You know what I mean? Manually level up at save rooms? That might be difficult to do. So we're just changing the TOS to affect the hot tub streamers a lot. Look, if you want me to talk about that, you got to pay up. We already have a, a channel point redemption for the streamer to rant about something. I ain't ranting about Twitch TOS for free. Alucard rolls instead of backdashing. Dude, that would be huge. If we can get dodge rolls. You die, you drop money. Damn, his cape is nicer than mine. I'm mad. Die, asshole. How dare you have the drip? Hitting blunt, 
fall damage, remove all all iframes from shield dashing if you have Remove all iframes from shield dashing if you have armor equipped and you have to remove all spells because no one levels into <laughs> Okay. Fran, pass that shit shit my way. Uh, dude, what it was? What the what the what the what the, what the fuck? I mean, how do we even get? How the fuck do we count to seven here? I don't know how to count to seven, guys. All rocks into rings, into merman, into mist. Is that even enough to get to seven, though? I probably should have skipped this check. Because one was glasses, two was wolf. So then it would be like three... Rings, four merman, five mist. And that's it. Because there's no other progression items left, right? Are you sure it's complexity seven? Am I. St I might be smoking that, freaking that shit that make you go stupid dummy. That makes you not be able to, to count numbers, but. I got no clue. Because we full cleared the first castle outside of the progression items we're missing. So... The blunt makes everyone secondhand stupid dummy, so I seem smart. Yes. I say we just go back to the first castle. I don't have a library card, right? Nope. No, I do. Um. Maybe I use it after grabbing this warp. Because my ass does not want to fight Gallimoth right now. Not that it would be even that bad. I mean, I have the library card. I should just do Gallimoth. You're right. Fuck it. It could be like a random ring or something. That's pretty much all it can be. I mean, I'm not here for like a serious speedrun anyways. I'm just here to play the video game. We're doing serious speedruns after this, so... Giganta moth, dude. If Gallimoth was a gigantic moth, better boss design. We need more giant moths in media. I'll say it. Mothra needs friends. Gal, a moth? I hardly know her. I don't know if she's a moth. We have Moonlight Butterfly, but that's a butterfly. It's not even a moth. Damn it. Have I ranted about the TOS update yet? Not yet. Nope. Like I said, I ain't doing that shit for free. You gotta pay your cold, hard-earned... Uh, Blit, 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 blit money. Garnet coin. Rant about this TOS update. Okay. So, what's the TOS update? You can't specifically have your content 
around sensitive parts that can be perceived as sexual. Oh, shit, this was worth it. Good call, Fran. I'll say it. My rants. Controversial take. It's probably for the best. Coomers are going to coom anyways, and people will find ways around this particular TOS as they've done uh, in the past to push boundaries and risk uh, bans for, for viewership and money. But Twitch kind of has to do something about it because, like, at the end of the day, if too many media outlets are like, this website is just for coomers to coom, uh, they will lose branding dollars and advertising dollars and stuff like that, and Amazon might get mad and, like, just fucking delete them. But also, I think it's very sad that we live in a world where, like, I don't know, coomers gonna coom. They're horny. Let them let them beat their shit and let people make money off of it. Is that too much to ask for? Granted, I understand that some people don't like that it's on Twitch at all, and they think it's, like, an inappropriate platform for that. But it's like, I don't think it matters that much. I don't know. Maybe I'm just ignorant. But let people beat they shit is the, the end of my uh, rant. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Uh, we need to go to Aurox's quarters. Have I attempted the RNG Maria run recently? Not really, no. Um, I, I want to get a better time, but I just don't have a lot of motivation to play that category in general. I'm trying to do things on stream that are more fun. And that category, as interesting as it is, is not that fun. I like the idea of it existing, but I don't like the idea of doing runs of it. It just doesn't have a place here. I think that's a reasonable feeling to have, but also I feel like, I don't know, I think this is more of like a greater society criticism that people are too weird about just like sex and women's bodies in general. Like, I don't know. I think it, it comes down to puritanical uh, Western uh, Catholic Protestant views about women's bodies and sex and stuff like that. More so than it actually has to do with, like, protecting the children, quote-unquote. Because the... I'll be honest. If the children want to watch porn, they're going to go watch porn. They have fucking computers in their pockets. Sorry about it. It is what it is. And you could argue that it doesn't have to exist on Twitch. And you know what? That's a fine enough argument. I'm not going to say that it has to. I'm not saying we need porn on our fucking... On this platform. But I also just don't really care that much if it exists. Because it's like, you could just choose not to click on it. Like, I am personally not affected by someone having their titties out on the same platform as me. Because, like... Like, if I don't like it, I could just not click on it. <laughs> That's just me. If anything, I should have my titties out. Listen. This is my favorite political stream. Look, I'm not starting. No. Hell no. Absolutely not. Look, I'm a dumbass who has opinions, but... <laughs> Once you get branded as a political streamer, that it's over for you. Your life is fucking over. I'm not ready for those kinds of death threats, <laughs> okay? Absolutely not. And the thing is, the worst part about all of it is, if I were to be a political streamer, I would just piss off everybody. Because I'm not good at capitulating to other people's opinions or thoughts or feelings. I'll just tell them, no, you're being dumb, fuck you, I'm right, you're wrong. And people don't like that. They only like it when their opinions are being uh, coddled and uh, reinforced by whatever uh, fucking streamer man they like. Meanwhile, I would be like, no, actually, you're a fucking dumbass, stupid idiot, fuck you. And people don't like that.
Anyways, um, awkward silence aside. Was that a Garnet coin? Maybe. Just base my views off a of Karma coin flip. Speaking of Karma coins, actually. Let's go ahead and flip one. There's the rings. All right, so we definitely made the correct play. Now guys, I just want you to know, it could be anything here. I I have no say, it was heads. Four times in a row! <laughs> I, I think the randomizer's broken, guys. Next time you gotta go all in on heads, cause it's always heads. Clearly, that's just how it works. Uh, the music turned off because it, it's the same exact glitch as the um, shop glitch, where I started talking to the the boat guy while the live or while the fairy was talking about funny wall, and that uh, deletes the music in the background. Honestly, coin flips have never in the history of coin flips have been four times in a row on heads. So I think it has to be broken, right, guys? Why do I keep winning? Just keep voting heads and eventually, you know? Sick new haircut, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. That's how 50-50 stats work. Exactly, right? They have to even out. Which means if there's four heads in a row, that means at some point, four tails in a row has to show up, which means next time, guys, always vote tails. As soon as you see tails once, it means it has to be tails again. Otherwise, it's not actually a 50-50. That's actually how it works. That's one. Fifty fifties are easy to understand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I played Sonic, and it taught me one thing: don't vote tails. Tails can be quite unreliable. You are correct. Speaking of Sonic. We need more multiplayer games where you can just pl play. You know what I mean? Like Sonic and Tails, where you pass the controller off to your uh, doo-doo ass little cousin or whatever, and they're like, wow, I'm playing the game. Meanwhile, they're not actually playing the game because like you're just going faster than them, but they feel like they're doing something. We need more of that. We need to trick more kids is what I'm saying. Bully children is, that's my hard stance. Player two controls the familiar, exactly. Now we're talking. To be fair, Nintendo was kind of all over that shit during the Wii U era, where you just give them the gamepad and the gamepad does something completely different than the normal fucking game, where it didn't even matter. Like, look, honey, you get to be the guy who moves the blocks around while we play Mario. But you get to move the blocks. Wow, I love moving blocks. Thanks, Mom. They get to control the bit, the bit shooter. Oh, wow, you shouldn't have. The bit shooter, thanks. You could also backseat the player as the familiar. True! Just tell them, uh, hey, there's a wall here, stupid. Break this wall. Special message for duck hunt. Player two controls the duck. No, -uh, that's not real. Is that true? I've never played Duck Hunt, so I don't know. 
dude, Kirby Superstar, unironically, was another fantastic like multiplayer game for that reason. That's true? Oh, I didn't know. The more you know. Why is this? There we go. Fuck me. What? Whee. And for our troubles, we get nothing. Wow. So much fun. Like they no friction next. We actually already did that. And unfortunately, the back dashes don't work with no friction. So it ended up not being that interesting. But we have other no friction ideas uh, coming up. Don't you worry about it. No, 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 no. Let's go this way. Shit, I'm stupid. I went this way because I'm like, oh, I could use the castle entrance warp. Instead, I could have just, I should have just went to the all rocks warp. I'm so dumb. I can't use the castle entrance warp because I never opened the shortcut. Oh, I hate when this happens. Yeah, it turns out you need friction to be invincible in this video game. Astro Glide April. Welcome to Astro Glide April, where we were uh, slipping and sliding all all month long. The slipperiest month. No friction, no chafing. Just smooth gliding all month long. Newton would be proud of the physics of this game. Yes, much like in real life, if there's no friction uh, force being applied to an object, it no, it does not have invincibility either. Hmm. Dude, I can't wait for Dr. Forgon Blitz to explain the, the science behind the no friction speed run. That's going to be a fun one. That's going to be great. Uh, yeah, I guess I go up and then go to the warp because I'm stupid. Newton discovering damage boosting by sitting under an apple tree. Well... I might steal that joke. Someone write that down. When I talk about the, the physics of the, the no uh, friction speed run. Get in there. So how is this complexity seven, I wonder? So it was glasses, wolf. I don't know. But this has to be the final relic, I'm pretty sure. Because it's the last relic check in the game. What's going on with these back dashes? Oh, this is just... Um, I've trained myself to become faster at uh, back dashes.
So this is just what it looks like when you're like, just, you know, really good. I don't think Jewel of Open was part of the chain because it was also layer zero. Glasses and Jewel of Open were both layer zero. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah, I can introduce Isaac Newton as the greatest video game physicist of all time. The invincibility from the backdash doesn't outweigh the guard from the... Interesting. Very interesting. Does like they count flight and complexity? No, you start with flight. Oops. I need to backdash through more doors. And stop interacting with them. Like a peasant. See, just backdash. All right, let's go beat the game. It's complexity zero. All flight locations are complexity zero. when you start with flight. At least they have to, otherwise the complexity just won't work. One does not simply backdash through more doors. <laughs> God damn it. This is what I get for saying more doors. And I have a bunch of nerds in my chat. Oh, shit. Why are these guys, like, impossible to backdash through? It's fine. I am nerd as well. Yeah, exactly. Soden's a game only for, for Giga Chads and... Uh, turbo, um, like, uh, cool guys. Sigma males, yeah. We got, we got the, the Schmegma males, we got the, um, uh, Omega, uh, people, we got the, um, um, uh, Delta females. Turbo Muir's Skibbity, exactly. We're on the same wavelength. I don't know what that means. Help. 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 I don't. I'm old. I'm really old at this. It's making me so much older. Reading those words in that combination, I don't know what it means. Nobody does? Okay, good. Whew. Whew. <laughs> what about the gamma females? Okay, listen. I'm an inclusive community, but not that inclusive. I draw the line at radioactive women, okay? Call me a bigot. Hey. The woke left doesn't want you to know that gamma females are actually radioactive. Uh, I'm just saying words. You know, you're just you sometimes you just say words and they don't mean anything, but you say them. <laughs> Nice. Welcome back to 
whence you came. It's not my fault I was born in a lab. No All more. right. Leg day warm up. We how, talked about very important how, things here. How like that I've been so like that one time. You have been Subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And leave a comment for the know. algorithm. And join the live streams over on twitch.tv slash dragonblitz. Uh, bye bye later, YouTube. Bye bye. Bye bye. Watch the new video. Exclamation mark new video in my chat. Uh, uh, what the fuck is it called? Uh, the Perfect Castlevania Speedrun Explained with Science. Watch it. It's really good.